Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to take a look at how to beat the first Super Extreme Z Awakening to ever come, I guess. Uh, how it works is it's an add-on level to the original Extreme Z Awakening. So if you finish the first 30 stages of the original Extreme Z Awakening, you will unlock the Super level, which you can then complete to unlock the Super Extreme Z Awakening. Now it follows the same principles as the Extreme Z Awakening. So in, for example, Goku's case, uh, Goku, Resurrected Warriors, Tech, Units, Extreme Units, those are going to be the units that are the most effective against Goku. So what you need to do is essentially you need to take on the super level using the same requirements in terms of team building. The super level will give you three medals. Now the super level will give you three medals but then there are also missions for 18 medals. So what you need to do, in theory, is you need to go make sure that you complete those missions because those missions are going to give you a whole bunch of medals. Once you have unlocked the super stage, it will become an option. You can press it at the bottom like I am and it will switch you to the super stage mode. Pretty straightforward so far. All you have to do at that point then is continue to beat the stage, clear the missions and then eventually get 30 awakening medals to unlock the Super Extreme Z Awakening for Goku. So pretty awesome, pretty epic stuff. Uh, really quite cool. And of course the missions are pretty straightforward. Three sworn enemies. Uh, they also have a requirement here to beat the stage within 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, not too hard. There's no big requirements like uh, for example in a legendary Extreme Z Awakening. You have to have the legendary power link active. That is not the case here in terms of this. All you have to do is simply make sure that you beat the mission requirements and that you meet the category requirements. So we're going to be building the team for the category requirements, uh, obviously just to kind of make sure that we get everything done. Uh, not anything too crazy in terms of team building. Uh, this team will be altered slightly. Rears Warriors is a bit of an all over there category. Um, not like the greatest category. Uh, but you do have some pretty culpable options. I would honestly stick with mainly Wicked Bloodlines. Definitely feels like the best functionality and team uh, with the most cohesion. But of course, uh, you can also look at maybe doing like a Cell team. Uh, or you can do like a Planetary Destruction thing. Maybe you want to go Mars and Vegeta. It's going to be up to you. For me, personally, I find Wicked Bloodlines to be the best. Uh, but you do want to obviously stick to tech characters as much as possible. Uh, tech characters are going to help you out a lot when it comes to damage to Goku, so try and stick to that. Uh, but honestly speaking, there's no real premier picks here. I mean, AGL, LR Golden Freezer, Tech Freezer, uh, Physical Metal Cooler, AGL Metal Cooler. You know, these are going to be your top picks. Um, but yeah, so we're going to roll with this team. It meets all the requirements. It should get everything done. Uh, however, there is a slight tweak. So what I did was to make it a little bit more uh, smoother running, I dropped out the Int. LR cell, I switched in the AGL Metal Cooler and I also switched in the Int Metal Cooler Army. Uh, the main reason being for switching in those units, make it a little bit more accessible uh, and also just run a bit smoother, um, just in general. If you are looking to run the stage, uh, please remember as well to essentially, how can I say, um, switch off your animations, especially if you're going for the three minute victory. Uh, switching off the animations is highly advisable. Uh, it does help with the speed of the stage overall. But yeah, that's it. Honestly, there's nothing spectacular. Goku doesn't hit that hard. Uh, so if you've managed to clear his 30 stages of ZZA, chances are you probably can clear his super stage. Uh, it, it really didn't hit too hard, if I'm being entirely honest, uh, which is more than fine. And like I said, there were some slight adjustments. Uh, you can see that here with how the team now looks. Uh, I believe probably a bit more accessible and a bit smoother running. Uh, now as well and that's that all you have to do next is obviously to go and farm the medals uh, from the actual stage itself you will need 30 to super awaken goku so you're going to need 30 to super awaken goku um pretty crazy but i'm sure you'll be able to get it done so go and give it your best effort and yeah that's basically gonna be it for me so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. So till then, take care, stay safe, and bye.